Ken, in the world of dating and relationships, it seems like men and women sometimes speak different languages, like maybe all the time. A recent article from columnist LaDonna Black for Match.com compiled a list of nine things the author claims men do not like women to fake in relationships. Apparently, the, the audience is going, mmm. <laughs> Two of our favorite New Day contributors, Steve Haverly and Nancy Guppy, are here to weigh in. And we've already had a really interesting um, conversation about yes. this. All right, so let's talk about what LaDonna says. And apparently, she got feedback from Match.com people to come up with this. Um, men say you should not feign an interest in your man's things that he likes to do, he hobbies, likes, okay. interests, etc. Right, et cetera. right, right. What, Absolutely not. Don't, don't so what do you mean by that? Don't I pretend mean, to like what yeah, your guy likes? Oh, absolutely. And the same goes for guys, too. Here's the situation. If I say, oh, you know, it really doesn't matter if I watch the Seahawks game, I'm going to end up at 1 o'clock yeah. in a boutique somewhere with <laughs> banana cream on my eyes <laughs> and my... That's getting a, a Manny and a Petty. <laughs> and you and don't want that. That's, and that's not what you want. Happen. You want to be watching the game. I want to watch but the Seahawks But at the beat same the time, there is a balance there. I mean, you do right. want to show some interest or maybe try to be interested in what your man is interested in. Yeah, right? but if you're not an adrenaline junkie and yeah. he loves his motorcycle, yeah. don't say, oh, I love motorcycles. Right. I'm a motorcycle. Oh, yeah. I'm a, I've got a Harley. Don't lie like that. Right. Okay. No, and no, I guess no, they're no. also talking about the beginning of a relationship. Yes. So part of this is sort of tricking somebody into thinking right. that you like something so that they'll ask you out on a date. Right. You know, I've been married since 1862, so there's like no <laughs> right, right. secrets about... You know these about, things. Right, yeah, right, right. Exactly. Right, I'll right. go to the driving range, yeah. but I don't like it. We know that. Um, <laughs> friendships with other men. Men say don't mm. Say that it's just a friend if it's somebody you've actually dated. Mm, That's yeah. an interesting one. That's, That's a, bad because you want to know. Well, mm. I don't want to know. I uh, it's if the shoe was on the other foot, and I was having lunch with an ex-girlfriend. Yeah. I don't. I know. It's not. I don't think. I know that would not go over at all, like a lead balloon. With, so with the current gal. Oh with, yeah. yeah. Right. Okay, yeah. Right. And so. It, it's got to it's got to go both ways. Yeah. If it's not something that would be acceptable for you, don't expect that of him. And if you're essentially Good hiding advice. it, if you're if you're not if you know, I mean, if you want to say, hey, I want to see my ex, you know that we're okay. I mean, we're not. I'm not interested. But are you okay with that? You could check right. it out, right? But don't do it clandestinely. And don't come back saying, oh, he's so funny. Yeah, and cuter. <laughs> and what? I, I don't like him a lot ever better him. than oh, you. So much. God, he has matured so much. Why did I leave him? Really? Why did I leave him? Yeah. So, she says, don't fake what you want out of the relationship. And okay. women do this. I admit, you know, we'll say, oh, no, I'm not looking for a serious relationship. Yep. But in fact, they do want to get married. The guy's Have going, kids, oh, great, cetera, cetera. this is casual, but then it, not so much. Right. 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 If, you don't wanna, if you're looking to walk down the aisle and within the next year, <laughs> make it known. Because yeah. Yeah, the that's, next good, month. that's a great yeah. thing to say on first date. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> hey, look, either this is for real or you know what? You've kind of got to you've kind of got to figure out what direction this is going. Maybe you're going to meet the guy and and know that this guy is this guy's a flake. It's not going to be a long term. It could be a he could turn into a good. Mm -hmm. Friend, mm -hmm. sure. but be real. Be, but be real. Yeah, be, be, and be realistic. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, don't fake your opinion on his circle of friends. <laughs> ah, tell, that's interesting. What, give you us your laugh. Take on that. I, yeah. yeah. Well, see now, I've had an uh, an awakening this year because my girlfriend actually kind of called me on the carpet on some of these friends, and you know, I I I'm going against the grain here, but I kind of had to listen and like see. she didn't like them. Yeah. Well, she kind of right. saw through their. Yeah. game and, and I thought you know what you're kind of right well I think that's a I mean I think that's actually you should weigh in on that not because you want to control what your guy who, who is circle of friends is but if you're gonna be spending time with them and those are gonna be your social circle if you don't like them that's a problem Oh, it's think. a big problem. It's a huge problem. And you might as well be honest. Right. Um, now, this one we were all confused about. She says, uh, the, the author says that your overall look should be something you don't fake. Like your physical you should, look. Right. And she says you should go ahead and get glam during the day, but feel sexy and confident without all of those props first thing in the morning. I'm like, She what? might be talking about the, uh, like a bait and switch. Like, okay. oh, <laughs> this is how I always look. I always look yeah. this way. Right, right. And then. And, and like in the morning, it's like you look like Godzilla. Right. It's like. like oh. Yeah. Um, yeah, be realistic about, right. well, it's really be realistic about everything sure. and honest, sure. yeah. but that one, I, I think that she's going with the old bait and switch, you know, don't, like you said, no right. Godzilla. Right, no, okay. yeah, don't have like some sort of, you know, fake look on and then right. suddenly freak them out. Guys, we don't have that, we don't wear makeup, we don't, well, we should. Well, you do, but that's a whole other <laughs> deal. <laughs> Yeah. But come on. Yeah, we and can't in this really case, hide. It's what, okay. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. All right. I'm going to roll through just three of these because yeah. they're pretty obvious. Don't don't fake 
what goals you'd like to achieve in the future. Don't fake desires in the bedroom. Don't fake what you find attractive about him because you mm. can't go back later and say, mm. Mm, that actually really annoys me. Yeah. Yeah. And don't fake well, you your can. romantic. Well, you can, but they <laughs> no. don't like it. It's no. really not fair. It and gets don't, ugly. <laughs> don't fake your romantic history. Yeah. The romantic history. Hmm. I'm torn <laughs> with this one because I really don't want to know. Really? You know, uh, well, I mean, details are just like, you want the general overall I don't want scope? any details. As okay. far as I'm concerned, um, everything is uh, new. And We're starting fresh. Okay. Starting fresh. Right. Yeah, right. I, I, she talks a lot about, um, you know, I think the direction that it could go is what things in the relationship did this guy do that really screwed things up? Mm -hmm. And vice versa, what, mm -hmm. did, what did she do that screwed things up right. with him? That's probably well, more important learn. than the romantic history, right. I think. And I, I, I don't know that she means physical or not, but... Yeah, you don't really I, want to hear the story, the physical story. Yeah, I wouldn't mind knowing what the guy did, to, and it'll make, it'll make me feel better about, you know, yeah. hey, I don't have that problem, so it makes me feel better One about, better about okay. myself. One up. We right. have just, seriously, like yeah. 10 seconds, yeah, yeah. but tell me what you did to Joe this morning. Okay, Joe, <laughs> he's been he, married he, forever he, like uh, me. Well, forever, exactly, like you. And so he was unloading the dishwasher. And, and so isn't that great? Fantastic, yes. right, everybody? This is the best. Okay, so then I say to him, well, I can't believe he didn't notice what I, my outfit, what I'm wearing. He's like, well, I, I was unloading the dishwasher, mm. you know, doing something nice for the, rela for the house, keeping, you know, keeping brilliant. 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 And brilliant I, and I, but I kind of got all squirky and weird about it. Like, well, you should have noticed. So I was a little crazy. So you texted later. Because sometimes I, we trap them. There's the no-win situation. I, we admit it. I we admit and it. I did. I texted him and said, I was crazy. I'm sorry. Thanks for unloading the dishwasher. So in yeah. other words, if the guy is folding the towels, it doesn't doesn't matter if it's the wrong way. Yeah. Just folding <laughs> the towels. Just be really exactly. happy Thank about that. Thank you for that. folding the towels. Okay, that's what yeah. we learned today. So yeah. there, that's yeah. our, that's right. our indeed, little indeed, indeed. Indeed. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys very much. We're going to post a link to the article so you can read it yourself on our website. Thanks to both of you for mm -hmm. weighing in on this topic. And that brings us to our New Day Wants to Know question. What is the most important thing to be honest about in a relationship? We've talked about the stuff men and women fake, but we want to know what's most important to be real about. Mm -hmm. So, of course, we want to hear what you think and we want to hear what you guys think. Sure. Do you have thoughts? What, what should you be most genuine about? I would say, about? I mean, this is kind of a general one, but I would say be, be genuine about your interest in the, per, the person as who, who they are. Be, be genuine about liking them as, as themselves. Okay. Yeah. Steve? You'd be surprised and amazed at how much being 100% open and honest, Yeah. how fulfilling it'll be for the relationship. If you're trying to backtrack for the entire relationship and yeah. it turns messy and ugly, it all could have been taken care of if you'd have just been upfront and honest in the very beginning. Steve, Good advice. Be I open. Love you. Love you. <laughs> Just being open and honest. He loves her back. They're open. <laughs> get, a, get a hold of us on Facebook, Twitter, or just email us at newday at king5.com and we'll read your responses in a little while. We want to hear from you as well. So later on on the show, Nancy will be back. She's not done because not her done. outfit is so awesome. She has another segment, <laughs> her weekend zone, to give us the top picks for what's happening in our area. But first, an update on the progress that's being made to get Japan back on its feet. We're cooking up a delicious Japanese dish for a great cause. Stay tuned. We'll tell you all about it. Thank you guys.